Welcome back to the channel. Being a new Path of Exile player can be pretty overwhelming at the beginning, and it can stay that way without some proper guidance. I learned this the hard way by doing my first character in First League completely blind, without the use of guides or other resources. I've learned a lot of my journey through Path of Exile, and have compiled a list of tips and tricks that I wish I knew when I started, so let's get started. Tip number one. The passive skill tree will look very overwhelming at the beginning of the game. To make it easier, you can search for specific perks in the top right search bar. For instance, if you're looking to gain more max health, simply search max health, and all nodes related to this will be highlighted, making it a lot easier to find what you're looking for. Tip number two, don't be afraid to use your health potions constantly. Health potions gain charges by killing enemies and dealing damage to elites. You don't have to go back to town to refill these, so don't worry about running out of charges. Tip number three, most abilities in this game don't have any internal cooldowns. In most builds, the basic attack is pretty much useless, so you'll want to swap these out for another ability gem in your gear pretty quickly. And feel free to spam those abilities. Additional note, if it, it doesn't matter what piece of gear you have your skill gem in, just put it somewhere in your gear. I know it might be a damage gem, but you don't need to put it in your weapon. It could be in your armor too. It doesn't really matter where it's at. Tip number four, change your left click to move only to avoid mistakes and getting yourself stuck on nearby enemies. When starting the game, movement can be a bit clunky. It's mainly due to the fact that left click is assigned to your basic attack and clicking anywhere near an enemy will cause you to attack them instead of moving. In order to do this, simply left click the ability box and check the circle that says move only. Tip number five, use support gems. Most abilities will see significant damage or support value upgrades when you socket 3, 4, or even 5 support gems to them. For instance, if you have an ability that is 80% of your damage, consider socketing this gem into a piece of gear that has the most linked sockets and loading it with support gems to boost its potential. Tip number 6. If you're a melee player, especially dealing physical damage, you'll be swapping out your weapon a lot. This goes for most, pretty much every class, I would assume. It'll, you'll see significant damage increases with every weapon upgrade, so it's important to not socket your, say, you have ability that's got five supports on it. Don't worry about getting a six link weapon right away because those are going to be expensive and you're going to be swapping it out a lot when you want to upgrade damage. So look for things like your helmet, gloves, chest piece, boots, something that's not going to be as big of a deal if you can't find an upgrade right away. Tip number seven, aura skill gems are a great way to give your character some more passive power or even support your allies. These are ability gems that'll give you powerful passives such as additional armor, accuracy, damage, any of that kind of stuff. It can even give you like health regen. So don't forget about these. You can always find these at the gem vendors. Tip number eight, turn in quests regularly. The quest rewards will reward passive skill points, which you'll use on your passive tree. You can open this quickly by pressing P on your keyboard. Make sure that you're turning these in regularly and not trying to stack and be super efficient because the longer you go without turning these in and getting these passive points, the weaker you're going to start feeling and you're going to start hitting walls and wondering why you're not progressing, but you're missing out on these passive points that actually do improve your build significantly. I made this mistake early on by trying to stack say five, six, seven quests in a row, and I would try to turn them all in at once and just try to get everything done. Don't do that. <laughs> You're just making it harder on yourself. Tip number nine, your elemental resistances are very important in the mid to late game. You're gonna wanna get these up especially around Act 5 and after that you're gonna have to keep a very close eye on these. Certain bosses will do specific damage types so also if you want to check out guides on these bosses that will tell you exactly what kind of resistances you need to pay more attention to. Uh, keep in mind there are caps to these resistances so at default it's 75%. You'll see another value next to that to the right in parentheses that will be your actual value but you will only see 75% of that being reduced because that's what the game set as a cap. You can build more than this because there's things that will reduce that current reduction below that threshold. So say if you build 100% and now you have a debuff on you that reduces it by 30, well, now you're going down from 100% down to 70% instead of going from that 75 down to like 45%. So that's something else to keep in mind. You're going to see a reduction of 30% resistances at the end of Act 5 and Act 10. So after you clear those acts, you're going to want to go back and make sure that you're still at least at that threshold. Ideally, you want to be at 100%. In tip 10, you can access additional information on items and skills by pressing Alt and hovering over them. Oftentimes these tooltips will give explanations and terminology that are used when they're explaining what an item does, what the modifiers on an item are. 
So make sure you're taking advantage of that so you're not completely clueless. This is something I wish I knew when I started because there were a lot of questions I had that could have easily been answered. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I wish everyone that, that is just starting Path of Exile good luck. Stay sane out there, Exile, and I will see you guys in the next video.